Previously on Super Modded Fallout. Vipers. They tend to be good with making something out of nothing. By looking at this cave, they had a lot to work with. And now you're pretty much caught up. Hello, welcome to Super Modded Fallout. I'm Kyle. I'm Kira. And today we are going to be doing the last exploring that we have to do. We have a few locations on the Colorado River. Mm -hmm. And after that, we're going to just cry because then all of the places will be explored. <laughs> so yeah, I look forward to weeping. We'll be fine. We'll do. Well, what are we doing next? Animal splicing. Well, we're, we've been trying to collect the plants and animals for the bunker as we've been oh, doing. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that one. We've also been collecting uh part animal parts for splicing after this. So those will be the next things we do. Okay, sounds good. Yep. I mean, we've talked about the idea of. Uh, Maybe after this, before we finish playing this game, of playing the card games that are in New Vegas. Because New Vegas has quite a few card games, but we've, yeah! ouch, we've never really played any of them. Wait, do we have any? Do we have those plants? It's not, no, you say that every time we pass them. Okay. Literally, like, every time. Okay, not literally, but, like, one out of, like, five times we pass it. Whatever. Okay, we gotta get down somehow. Over here. Yep. But yeah, you, you'd like to do that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I've never played the card games in New Vegas, so... Honestly, before we do, I'm going to have to like look them up, because I don't know how to play card games in real life. I know how to play some. I know how to play Texas Hold'em poker. Um... There are several varieties of poker. I know that variety, Texas Hold'em. I remember playing War as a kid. Oh, yeah. I remember that. And I also know how blackjack works. So, yeah. Do you know how blackjack works? Nope. Really? With all the depictions in movies and stuff? They never tell you how to play. They just mention it. They show you some cards, they say what they're playing, and that's all you get. Oh, got all of them in one shot. Woo. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just lake lurks. Uh, they got well, eggs, but we already have eggs. We don't okay. Really. Are we going to be gambling included with the card games or no? Well, yeah, all pretty much all the New vegas -y type of games. Okay. Then I can explain to you how to play when we go play. Well, that's blackjack, right? Mm-hmm. So that's the only one you know. Yeah. That's still one more than you. Um, <laughs> go fish. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only card game you know how to play is magic. I know how to play Yahtzee. <laughs> yeah, does Yahtzee count? It's not a card game. When you think about it, the, the no, faces it's, of it's the... it's not a card game. Fine. Also, you, know, I know you how to... completely missed my amazing joke there. Oh, magic. Yeah. yeah that's that's the joke. only card game you know how you to know, play. I'm really not a big fan of fantasy, but I think magic is kind of interesting. I I think the thing is with fantasy is uh, don't just do typical fantasy. And I feel like magic does like all kinds of fantasy, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's just it's just when you do uh oh the single soldier here. Yep. <laughs> Okay, wiped out this legion camp. Mm -hmm. Wow. Maybe he was waiting for his friends to come back or something. He's just a recruit. Hold this spot for us. <laughs> but anyway, you're talking about magic. Um, I just I don't like boring. Oh, okay. When you talk, when most people talk about fantasy, they're talking about a very specific fantasy. They're talking about medieval European. Um, mythology yeah european medieval mythology and i hate that oh what is this oh. uh because that's just one specific type of mythology and fantasy and there's just so much more than that i don't want to play as an elf going against a dragon and a castle like if that's all you've got then you, you, you just go away just come back to me when you got something more interesting <laughs> 
it's just it's just so overdone. I mean, it's possible you could have something like that work maybe if you if you satirize it, have some type of play on it to make it more interesting. But yeah, generally, I hate that kind of fantasy. That's why I don't like Elder Scrolls or Zelda or any of that crap. It's all the same. Hey, Zelda is time travel. Barely. That's like a main mechanic of one of the games. We have one of them. It still doesn't change the foundation of the series. Foundation of the series is that you're a hero through time. No, you're a hero of time. Well, I guess yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're just a legendary hero. A legendary elf. Fighting the big bad evil, rescuing the princess. See, that's why I like Mario. That's how because it's... Mario Mario was fantasy, but at least it was an interesting fantasy. Like, oh yeah, you're gonna be in a mushroom world, and you're gonna jump on blocks, and there's a, a dragon turtle, and there's a uh, you know power ups. Like, like okay, you know this is this is fantasy, but at least it's an, a unique take on it. You know. Fair enough. Sorry. I still enjoy fantasy. That's that's fine. Like I mean, when on its face of it, there's no reason like like European medieval fantasy should be as acceptable as any other fantasy. It's just I see it all the time and I get sick of it. Except you don't touch anything with that kind of fantasy. Well, I got it. sick of it a long time ago and that's why I no longer touch any of it. Okay, whatever. Ah, we should help these guys out. You should get that ash pile to your right. It's a mammoth. In a bit. Is that it? All right, they're all alive. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yay! We saved them all. Oh, there's still a bad guy around here somewhere. Ah, whatever. Okay, to the location. Mm-hmm. Hey. a tiny camp with nothing in it. Wow. Don't oh. you dare. No. Don't you dare. Really? <laughs> we don't even need them anymore. You're just doing it to spite me. Also, you missed the healing powder on that shelf. Ah, whatever. But, uh, no, not just to spite you, but because it's a collectible. And we're there, so why not grab it? Except they're not a collectible at this point. They're not unique. We collected enough of them. I mean, they are collectibles. Each bottle cap is unique. It has its own special story. That's <laughs> shush. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, oh like Koreans. <laughs> they didn't stand a chance. Mm-hmm. Do they have roulette, too, in this game? I think they do. Something like that. I, I'm gonna have to look at the list. I, I really don't know off the top of my head. Okay. But, um... Oh, wow, that's a steep fall. Mm-hmm. Careful. Remember when, like, one of the first things we did was jump off a cliff? I mean, the first thing we did. Well, we uh, we went back to our grave site, and then I think we jumped off the edge of it there. Um, uh, maybe, but honestly, I've done that quite a few times. Yeah. I mean, we've done it, but sometimes you weren't totally on board. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh no! 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 <laughs> We're rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It's okay. But, uh, so yeah, I mean, I like, I like magic. I don't play with the green cards because those are more in line with stereotypical fantasy. Yep. Some of them can be cool, but not. I, don't, I wouldn't ever do a pure green deck. We play together. I don't play competitively though because honestly, like 
it gets way too complex, and I've had some bad experiences with some some snobs. I've played competitively before, but it was in a small town card shop. Like so, I had a bad experience where I was still learning how to play, and I uh, decided to go into like this this competition at this local store because uh, I just wanted to play with other people. And my deck consisted mostly of one of the starter decks that you can just buy off the shelf and it's already ready for you to play. Turns out almost every card in those decks is banned. Yeah, I, I remember. Because they purposely make those cards too good so that beginners feel like they're doing better than they really are. That's a one-way ticket to the trial for these folks. Is it dead yet? Oh, I think Ulysses dropped his flamer thing. No, it must be another one. He's not oh, using it anymore. Anyway. Why is he? He's go. It's they're fighting Ulysses. Yeah. Okay. Something definitely messed up here. Let's reload. Yeah. That was weird. Mhm. Mm it was treating Ulysses like he was an enemy. Yeah, that's weird. Um, what was I saying? So yeah. So I did not appreciate that. And, you know, if I ever make a card game, you know, I've, I've considered it. I actually, uh, I've, I've, I made my own card games when I was young and bored because I didn't know how to make video games. So I just made card games. Mm -hmm. Don't ever sell like a complete deck that is illegitimate to play because that's just insulting. Yeah. Also banned cards. Like the more banned cards you have from a game, I feel the worse you've done at designing it. Yeah. Because that basically means that every card that's banned is one that was overpowered because you failed at your job. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to try to keep those down to a minimum. Maybe they do, but they fail a lot. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we just play against each other and it's fun. Yeah, 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 just casually. I, I've also played uh, Pokemon cards. I've never I played that, kill. actually. Like career. Oh, you know what? Maybe he accidentally flamed one of the NCR Rangers. Oh, uh, that's possible. Grab Ulysses and take him away. We're good, we're good. Okay. I thought I saw another one out here somewhere. I don't see him now. Yeah. Here, let's try to scale it down right here. Mm -hmm. Careful. What do you... I, uh, I don't think we saw that before. I'm curious. Do you mind? It's probably just one of the Midwestern Brotherhood camps. I know, but it looks like they have a teleporter. Oh, crap. Never mind. <laughs> This way. Wow, it started storming pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. I'll look up at the sky. Yeah, that happens sometimes. It's, it's kind of hard to control. Yeah. Come on, we can make this. We can make this. You're going for the Skyrim method of climbing up mountains. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dark. Oh crap, we gotta go higher. I can't... I can't do this. I can't... I don't know what's going on. Maybe you should wait until you can see. I mean, I kind of like the atmosphere, but it's hard to see now. Yep. Oh, that, that sunlight's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Was it dawn or dusk? It's dawn. <laughs> I don't know if you knew this, but the idea of magic 
is that you're the sort of wizard called a planeswalker that can use any of the spells. Oh, you mean on the, the, card. the magic card game? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's okay. We talked enough about magic. We can talk about something else. <laughs> okay. Oh wow, they're all already dead. Yeah, it killed the rest of them. <laughs> oh, we can't go in there. Hmm. Mannequin in the ground. Who are you trying to shoot? Better off. Just use the melee. Okay. Let's go somewhere else. Ah, uh, there's only one place left to go. Mm-hmm. Um, my brother actually used to uh, do tournaments in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. I used to play that game. I, 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 I only ever played it broken. Like, I only played it when I didn't understand the rules. I never. It was like kind of like how I used to play Pokemon cards. I didn't learn how you're supposed to actually play with them, so we would just make up our own rules. Ah. Uh, you know that? Have you ever done that? Yeah. I did eventually learn the Pokemon rules. <laughs> I pretty much never played the game again. <laughs> so yeah, the only card games I know are not the gambling kind. <laughs> yep. Oh, hey, remember Emotron? Yep. Hey, how's it going? It's so bright. Yep, it's nice. Oh, is this a shipwreck? It seems so. Oh, but, money. Yeah. They're so tiny. This isn't even a marker. This is a bonus prize. Ah, okay. Nothing. There isn't anything in here. There's an interesting surprise, though. Mm hmm Ah, bonus location. We're not done yet. <laughs> okay. Ah, glitchy water. Um, which way? Um, I forget. Uh, the other way. Not that there. Yeah. Let's swim under the water. Oh. It's pretty. And we don't have to worry about oxygen. Lake lurks. Let's go kill some lake lurks. Wait, let's see if there's some under the water over there. Oh, none of them are swimming? No, but there's some type of alcove. Yeah, looks like you can swim through there. What is that thing? Swamp lurk? Okay. <laughs> Hope and Lakler Guardian, a rotter sitting in a tree. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> They're just kind of like staring at each other. Yeah. Because Hope can't fight in the water. I don't think any creature can. Which is kind of dumb. They honestly should have had the Lake Lurks or Meyer Lurks, all, all variants thereof, capable of fighting in the water. Oh, whoa. It has a unique swimming animation. Oh, yeah. Because they're aquatic. But you think they'd be able to actually hurt people in water. Mm-hmm. This game is just not built for combat in the water. Yeah. Oh, and crap, that goes for Fallout. That goes for Fallout Three too. Yeah. Careful. It's okay. Ulysses is just crippled. <laughs> Here. Oh, it won't let me use ash lumps. There's another goo pile. Oh, it went away. Take a little 
pathway over here. This is cool. Oh, yeah, grab that note. Here, let me kill the things first. Yeah. Fire alert. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. You look at his swim. Ah, this is such a great weapon. Yeah, it really is. The best thing from Dead Money. Here, let's try using something else just to vary it up a bit. Like what? I don't know. Oh, fire shotgun. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's not very good. Well, why don't we just like go around and set everyone on fire so it does residual damage? River Pirate Captain. That's interesting. I'm sorry, Prawns. I don't want to kill you. Stop it. Stop. Just kill them. Stop. I don't like doing it. I know, but you have to. Oh my god, they're fighting each other. Our companions are all stuck in the pathway over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, he wasn't hostile, though. The captain. It sucks that he died. Oh, do you want to defibrillate him? No, he was a pirate. Fine. Just because he wasn't shooting us doesn't mean he was a good guy. Yeah, fair enough. I just wondered if he might have any dialogue. Doubt it. Really doubt it. Doctor's bag. Oh wait, we don't need them anymore, do we? Nope, not for a long time. <laughs> okay, yeah, so let's, let's read that note now. Okay. Oh, this is a long one. Uh, yep. Okay, brace yourself. I'm going to try to go through it quickly. Okay. From the others said, my brother didn't make it to the ship. If the rumors are true, there's a lot of loot to be had, enough to get my brother out of debt. I just hope he's not gotten himself too lost. Rumor has it that the ship was an oil tanker ship, although it is said that it was only a front, because the true purpose of the ship was in fact a barge for river pirates. They really did run oil back and forth and get good coin for that, but pillaging and looting was their primary means of income. Lucky for all of us, they had oil on board when disaster struck. I imagine we need only follow the spill. From what I've heard, the pirates ran aground. They set up camp, and from what they, from that, they just settled down in that spot and started their own community. They had weapons aboard the ship for sure. It's likely they've used whatever missions they've had on board to protect and trap their encampment. As I'm writing this note, it is from the roof of a shanty shack. I climbed up here after being surrounded by a group of lake lurks. I don't have any provisions with me. I wonder when they will move on and so I can slink away. Perhaps if I drop this note into the shack, someone may come across it and wake me up. I need to stop writing, get some... No, abruptly ends. Is, is his, like, body up on top of the shack? This is the shack, right? Yep. Oh. There's a chainsaw. Clothing. Oops. Oh, is that the ship he was talking about? I think so. Eh. How do we get over there, though? This whole thing is blocked off. Hold on. I'm trying to get a good look at it. Mm -hmm. Oh, how did that work? Oh, crap fell. I don't know. Oh, wait. What if... What, that alcove that we found earlier, we should try swimming under everything. Let's do that. 
Yeah. Because uh, it's all that we could swim through here. Oh, crap. Be careful. <gasps> oh, crap. We set foot in the maw. Oh, are they? Don't please don't tell me they're all gonna set off. Chain reaction. Oh no, it's far away enough from those. Okay. Just be careful. Bunch of skeletons under here. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing it. <laughs> what is this? Oh, missile high explosive. We needed one of those. Oh, cool. For our splicing. Careful. I didn't do it! I didn't touch it. Look, we can get into the ship. I think you have to swim to the other end. I wonder if that hurt any of, of any of our companions. Oh, this is cool. Is there something on the bottom over there on the other side of that? Oh, it's just a bush. And we're here. Mm-hmm. We're on the ship. Said there would be weapons. Oh look! And <laughs> look, it's sparkly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh my goodness. And a bunch of legion money. So much money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just get out of the way. Let me get my money. <laughs> I wonder what we'll use legion money for, though. Eh, it's still worth it. Like, Legion money is worth a lot more than NCR money because Legion money is minted out of uh, uh, precious metals. So even if you don't care about the currency, you can still melt it down and have it be worth something. Oh, that's true. Yeah, they, they went the old world way of, of making money, like the Romans. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay, this is tedious. Let me, let me grab it. Why is it... Sorry, the hit markers on these things is so small. Yep. I hope there wasn't a lake clerk or something nearby. Yeah, there seems to be something. Yeah, because it's in caution. Oh, you can see those two markers. The red markers. And you're facing the other way. <laughs> Perched on top of a box trying to pick up coins. I imagine you like trying to put your hand, like trying to stick your hand out and grab it. It's just like, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's this is a little annoying. You couldn't put them like in a stack or a pouch or something. Yeah. I wouldn't even mind so much if just the hitboxes weren't so small. I have an easier time picking up gold bars than this. Yeah. Gold bars are worth a lot more, too. Yes. <laughs> Do you know why they are actually called denarii? Why? Because uh, that's the actual currency that was used by the Romans. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. <laughs> there, this kind of works. <laughs> Wow. Almost got it. Just one left. Two left. Okay, one left. Got it. <laughs> uh, that was painful. <laughs> I'm sure it was painful for you to watch two viewers. Can't steer the ship. What was that? I guess it failed. I mean, obviously, it doesn't look like this thing's in any running condition. Yeah. There's something going on out there. 
I wonder if our companions are fighting something. Oh, we have to go back out the way we came in. Oh, great. On the bright side, there's less mines now. <laughs> Be careful. There's another one somewhere. Mm -hmm. There they are. They're stuck. <laughs> I don't know if I can kill them like that. Oh, you hit her. I don't think this is very feasible. No. Nope. I'll just leave them. Okay. So yeah, apparently the pirates ambushed us while they were away. Maybe because we killed off the lake clerks or something. I don't know. Yep. That was interesting. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we still have half the episode left. Yep. Let's get ammo from that pile. pile. We just left it there. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and that was the last location. This is the furthest you can go in the Colorado River without traveling to a new area. Yeah. It's too bad. I want more locations to explore. Well, we explored all of them. Literally all of them. Oh, right, viewers. We promised that after we explored all the locations, there'd be weeping. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at my weeping. <laughs> You're not actually weeping, though. I'm weeping on the inside. Okay, whatever. I'm just not good at showing it. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's, that's all of it. What are we going to do now? We could go after some animals. Yep. So yeah, honestly, viewers, we are getting so close to the end here, and I am upset about it. <laughs> Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go get all the pieces of the of the animals. Or not, not the pieces, the, uh, the zoo ones, the ones we can just capture and keep for later. Mm -hmm. But to do that, we're going to have to tell these people to wait. What do you say? Keep the walks short. Oh, yeah. All right. We heading out? Nope. Bye, you were coming. Alright. So, laboratory. We don't have to get all the plants. I'm not as concerned about that. I more want the animals. So, we got a lot of them. We're missing some, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, we do have quite a lot of plants. Yeah, we're missing one, two, three. Is missing three. Let's can we check out our animals? They're miniaturized. Oh my god. We have a mole rat and a Brahmin. <laughs> that's kinda of funny. Yeah, that's so cute. Assume the lab is gonna take care of them? Yep. Okay, let's see what other ones we can get. Oh. Animals. Okay, so we can get Brahmin, Deathclaw, Gecko, Giant Rat, Mole Rat, and Rad Scorpion. So we're still missing the Deathclaw, the Gecko, the Giant Rat, and Rad Scorpion. Okay. That should be fairly easy to get. The problem is making sure they're normal variants. Yeah. But we should be able to find some some of that stuff around. Like, I think Good Springs might have some of it nearby. Yeah, at the very least, a gecko. Yeah, there's also Rad Scorpion and Death Balls if you go the right way. Mm-hmm. 
That's so adorable that they're miniaturized and put, like, under the plate there. Yeah, it's a little weird, but whatever. <laughs> weird is good. Different is good. Yeah, I expected it to be a farm with them full-sized. <laughs> uh, good spring source is all the way over here. Let's just fast travel. Okay. To be fair, though, if they were in their individual kennels, they probably would have killed each other. Kind of reminds me of what was that that DLC, that, sorry, quote, DLC for uh, Fallout 4 that lets you capture the creatures? What was that? I don't remember. But you remember which one I'm talking about? I just forgot the name. Yeah, I remember. I actually really like that DLC. I don't think it was worth, uh, I don't think it was a true DLC. It was more of just an expansion pack. But I liked it. Oh, no, nope. Don't die, Gecko. We need you. Mm -hmm. Kill that wolf spider. Ugh. Awesome, and it's a regular gecko, too. Mm -hmm. Lucky day. Alright. Now we just need Death Claw and Rad Scorpion, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Isn't there like a rad scorpion gulch over here or something like that? It's more south. Where? How how far south? Uh, I don't know. I know we've seen rad scorpions like to the southeast of Good Springs. Like in that area, but I don't know exactly where. Oh, I think it's towards uh, Quarry Junction, actually. Oh, that's good. We can get Death Claws in Quarry Junction. I want to get the Red Scorpion first. Let me. Okay. Let's go to Good Spring Cemetery. Oh, enemies. Oh, the gecko is still there. Yeah. I thought it's supposed to teleport them. That's weird. Are we going to do animal splicing after this? Oh, that's weird. What are what? these doing here? What are you talking about? There's always one of these here. No, there's always a feral ghoul ghost and usually some bloat flies, but not, uh... But not mosquitoes. Mm. Mosquitoes would be terrifying at that size. Oh, it says dragonfly, actually. Oh, no, yeah. this one's a dragonfly. This one's a mosquito. Yeah. Alright. Let's go. It's laggy here. Wow. Yeah. The lag... There's some rad scorpions. Yeah. Sorry, viewers. Good Springs just has so much stuff overriding it. Yeah, see, look, the further away we get, for the better our frame rate gets. <laughs> okay, any normal rad scorpions? Actually, what even is a normal rad scorpion? Actually, I think as long as it's just some normal game variant of it. Giant rad scorpion, that will work. Okay, there we go. Yes. Got it. Nice. Oh, it worked there. Disappearing yep. it. Do we need any rad scorpion eggs or anything? Nope, we only needed one poison gland. Scotch. We've already got it. Did we need scotch? Yeah, I thought we already had scotch. But oops, did not mean to grab the outfit. <laughs> ah, here, I'll grab, I'll grab something just in case. There. Okay. 
Now we just need death claws. Mm hmm. Oh, and a giant rat. Oh, right. Sorry, I completely forgot about the giant rat. Mm hmm. Okay, that will be a little harder to find. Those are not as common. But there is one that roams around Freeside sometimes. Okay. You can also look for one. Oh, no wonder I couldn't escape. Yeah. It's chasing you. That's a regular rat scorpion. Quarry Junction it is. Get ready to shoot a lot of them. Mm -hmm. We just need to spare a normal death claw. Yep. You ready to die? <laughs> <laughs> what? I've got you now. What's going on here? What? Help. What? Help. What? Help. What? What is this? What? <laughs> okay, well, it's working now. Yeah. That was weird. Mm-hmm. Is there a normal death claw here on the edge? Maybe. So we don't have to kill them all. Maybe you should put on the stealth boy. I don't know. I think the moment I attack, my stealth will be ruined. Yeah, there is one right there. Okay. I'll try, I guess. We need to just keep on whacking it till he gets knocked out, though. Mm -hmm. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. Get knocked out, please. Oh, it hasn't noticed us yet, somehow. Uh -huh. It's about to notice, though. It's about to. Come on. Just get knocked out. Oh, there my we goodness. Go. How many hits did that take? That took a bunch. Okay. Awesome. Okay, let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, uh, why don't we try going to sewers, because that's probably where we'll find a giant rat. Well, I told you, there's one that runs around Freeside. Okay, sure. Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper, the table's more friendly, and the women are just like the booze. Is that the way to... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we need to be this inside. We have to go more to the outskirts. Okay. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. What? Mm, usually it's actually right around here. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Run. Ah, crap. We have too much stuff to run. He's catching up. He's gaining on us. There it is. Hey, you're the one who's been going around <laughs> helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work and said to give you this. I am so wealthy. I don't need your charity. <laughs> oh, thugs. Okay, yeah, you take care of them. Crap, where'd it go? Ah, uh, I went that direction. I don't know exactly where it went. <sighs> it was off screen for a second. Is it over here? No, that's... That's the bum. Did it get killed by the thug? Oh, no, I, I think it just... Oh, there, oh, there it, is. it is. Oh, you killed it. This is bad. That was a normal giant rat. Yeah. How am I supposed to kill it without killing it? 
what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't even know that animation existed. We're talking about that's the cannibal animation. We've done it ourselves several times. Whenever we would eat like bug bodies. Oh or... my god, that's so disgusting. What the fuck? Let's go do sewer. Maybe they'll be stronger. Uh, oh, you're thinking of those lab rats. No, I don't. Uh, okay, look, actually. Okay, you know what? Let me look it up. I think there's a specific variant of that rat in the main game that's just larger, and therefore we won't be able to kill as easily. Okay. So fine. you just talk for a second. I'm going to look that up. <laughs> okay. Um, I really hope we finish getting all these animals by the end of the episode, but then what are we going to do, honestly? <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll have to find a giant rat. Then we can go look at our all of our animals back at our bunker. Because that sounds fun. Have you... You got it? Okay, yes. Okay. We need to go to the Brock Flower Cave. There should be some giant rats in here. Okay, that's good. Mm. Your favorite geometry. <laughs> Don't like it. You just don't like it because it means you can't see the entrance as well. What's that about? We will see if there's anything alive in here. Oh, is this the rodents an unusual size cave? Yes, yes. Huh? Which is a reference, but they're giant rats, and this is in the main game, so hopefully it'll work. Okay. Yes, it'll work. Okay. And the rest of them are nice. All right. So let's just go. That's cool, right? Mm-hmm. Now let's go look at all of our animals in that little grate <laughs> beneath our feet. Oh yeah, let's just teleport there. Yeah. I really like the wild wasteland stuff. Mm -hmm. I think it was a cool way to add like gimmicky things to the wasteland, but offer an option to remove it for people who really don't want that. Yeah, My I motto is, so if you ain't got something nice to say, don't say anything at all. Although I would never choose not to use it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's the death claw. Mm -hmm. The gecko. I think it's funny, they're all shrunk to the same size, so now they're all the same size, even if they were once different sizes. Yeah. Got the rat scorpion, the mole rat, ramen, and the giant rat. That's cool. Yeah, I think so. And we got them all in our little grate. I, think like... I would have thought it would be cool if there was like cages suspended in, in this tank or something, you know? Yeah, it would have been cool to actually see them normal size. Instead, yeah. just put them under the grate like that. So we can step on them. Woo, we're horrible people. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right, wow, we actually got that done. Okay, next on the list of things to do. We got to finish getting all of the uh, supplies we need. Okay, what do we need still? Well, why don't we check off everything we've got, okay? Okay. Do we have a gecko egg? Check our misc. I gave Kira the controller if I can read the list. Gecko egg. Come on, gecko egg. G. G. I got it. Okay, we mm. don't have a gecko egg. Crap. Are you sure it's in misc? Yes, I am sure. All eggs are in misc. We also need a mantis egg, and we need maize. We never got maize. I think we did get a mantis egg. We, okay, no. if it's not in there, we don't have it. Yeah. Okay, go to Night Stalker stuff. Uh, on here? Yes. Okay. You just passed the end. It's alphabetical. I'm sorry. We got Red Scorpion Egg. Okay, Night Stalker. We, we got, got Night Stalker Blood. 
Uh, we need two eggs and two blood. So why don't we go get all that first right now? Okay. Where can we get that? Key locations. Oh, I should have gotten to Good Springs, honestly. Mm. Let's get the next soccer stuff first, then, I guess. This is the one that has the Night Stalkers, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Sorry, guys. Hey, yeah, we didn't kill them because they weren't hostile. Oh, my God, the sound. Ah, oh, it's empty. It's one egg. We need one more egg and one more blood. How do night stalkers have eggs? They're part snake and part coyote. Oh, so the snake. The night stalkers, along okay. with the cazadors, were one of Dr. Boris's inventions. Yep. Okay. I get it now. Oh. Wait, wait was that an egg that we just grabbed? No. It was meat? What was it? Oh yeah, three blood, but we need two eggs. Mm -hmm. This is how hunting works in the 23rd century. <laughs> Crap. More blood, but no eggs. Crap, give us an egg. <laughs> More blood. Another tail. Yeah. Come on, we just need one more egg. I don't want to kill all of you guys. Just give me one of your babies. <laughs> they make dog whiny noises. Well, they're not really dogs as much as they are coyotes. Every time. Okay, oh, an egg. There, there. Let's go. Did you make sure to grab it? Yes. I, I grabbed it. Okay. Now we need a gecko egg and a mantis egg. Okay. You won't know forget this. <laughs> okay, where are we going to find a gecko egg? Oh... Uh, Maybe Good Spring Source? I just worry that they'd be too underleveled there. But maybe if we killed enough geckos, we'd find one on one of them. Yeah, maybe. We haven't found any so far, which is why we don't have one. I think we found fire gecko eggs, but no regular gecko eggs. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess let's try gecko eggs, and then we can uh, try to get mantis eggs from that place up, n up north of Good Springs. You know, um... That one ranch place with the fences that has a bunch of mantises near it. And I know about this place so well because they always kill me every time I go up there. Oh, are you going to check the mantises in here? This is the place you're talking about. No, no, there's a separate place. I don't know about that. Yes, there is. This is right next to Good Springs. It has mantises. Yes, but there are a bunch of mantises outside. Yeah, there's usually mantises outside here, but not right now. Oh, they're just nymphs. We need the big ones. Yeah, I think so. I don't think you'll get... So let's oh. go to... Ah, crap, it's empty. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's leave here. Oh, nope. Oh. Made the sick. Ah, okay, we got it. We just needed one, right? Yep. Thank God. Okay. We also need corn. How are we going to get corn? Maybe we should try to buy it. Also, Nuka Cola quartz. Maybe, maybe we should check uh, the bar here and see if we can buy some um, maize and Nuka Cola quartz. See, if you take that road to the left next to uh, Doc Mitchell's house and take it all the way up north, there's a sort of ranch area with fences and a broken building that has a bunch of mantises around I it. I just do not remember that. And I think the only thing I associate mantises with a specific building is that schoolhouse. Yeah. Don't crash on me, please. <laughs> Don't crash on me. Oh, Where are you going? Does this guy have corn? Oh, maybe. It's stealing. Also, he doesn't seem yes, to... Yes, he does. Oh, he does. Aha! We got it. We only needed one? We need two, but I think we already had one. Let me check. Yeah. Come on, good boy. Yep. Okay. Now what else do we need? Nuka-Cola quartz. Can you buy that, or do you have to... I don't know of a single person that sells it. Great. I have seen it on bar shelves, though, before, so I think if we check enough bar shelves, we'll eventually find it. Okay. We actually might have some at the home base, because they are kind of special. Oh, you know what? We probably have collected some. Why don't we just go home and grab one? Why is everyone in here? Mm -hmm. Our business is concluded. We have nothing more to discuss. Feeling thirsty? Nope. She's definitely a Pepsi fan. Yeah. Okay, and honestly, there's this thing we need called Rocket. My motto is, the, if you ain't got something nice to say, don't say anything at all. The problem is that there's two kinds of rockets. Mm -hmm. There's the rocket ammunition, and there's also a drug called Rocket. Oh, okay. So I don't, I can't actually know which one they're referring to, so I say let's just get both. Okay, sure. Do we have some of both? No, we don't have the drug. Oh. Can we make the drug? I think so. I'll have to look at the recipe. Okay, but Nuka Cola quartz. Aha, we do. We have four of them, so we can take one. Okay. Let's grab a rocket, the ammo type. I'm pretty sure they're talking about the drug. Hey, we had to get a high explosive missile. Really? Yes. So, I wouldn't rule it out. Uh, it's a chemical. Yeah, we need a we need a lab thing to do it. Why don't we go run to the lab then? I don't know if that. It was only some. It depends on like what type of chemistry set that was placed into the game on which one we can use. We might have to go elsewhere to do it. Nope, not that kind. Okay, you know what? Talk, I'm gonna just look it up. <laughs> okay, um, I wonder what the drug rocket does, because that sounds like a hell of a drug. So I guess we'll find out. Because, like, why would it be called rocket? It's just interesting. Oh, I never noticed before, but there's water under our feet over here. Oh, See? That's, a, that's a nice little detail. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. So, uh, it looks like we have irrigation to all our plants there then. <laughs> okay, we need a box of detergent, jet, and Nuka Cola to make it. Okay. Oh, and you have to make it at a campfire or a hot plate. Oh, okay. Is there one in here? Yeah, let me check. Oh, wait, let me just check our materials first. Okay, so we need 
box of detergent, but we already needed two of those. Oh no, why is it not in here? Oh, oh, we got extra, good. Okay. And jet, we got plenty of jet. <laughs> and Nuka Cola, we needed some of that. How much did we need? Not 14. <laughs> okay. 14's more than enough Nuka Cola to go around. Okay, so I guess we'll uh, actually do the splicing next episode? Yes, but okay. we'll be prepared. Okay, yeah. Ah, okay. This place, come on. Mm-hmm. I thought we had a hot plate. Crap, I thought we had a hot plate. Apparently not. Okay, well, let's just go to any random campfire then. Yep. Any of these places, you know, has a campfire? Novak has a campfire. Okay. Actually, it's possible we could still do the chemistry set. That might have actually been added by a mod, because what I'm looking hey! up is just the base game. Mm hmm. Ugh, let's just forget about these guys. They will kill people if we do. It always seems to happen whenever we come here. Yes, it does. Holy shit. Someone's shooting something explosive. Probably that guy. Die! That cowboy with an axe is trying to help. Even the iBot. Yep. You know what? I think there might be a hot plate in Willow's bungalow if we need it. It's doing it again. That same glitch that we had before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Probably is. Hey, cowboy. Mm <laughs> hmm. We're stuck. Just give it a sec. There we go. The cowboy took care of him. Good. That guy was annoying. Mm-hmm. Are you seriously gonna loot these guys right now? <laughs> uh, I guess there's a campfire. Doesn't have it. Mm, maybe we'll need to go to a hot plate. Hold on, let me just scroll down. It's not even on here. Okay, let's try a chemistry set. Mm -hmm. There should be one at like, Chuck Willow's bungalow. No, I'm gonna go to the chemistry set that's over here. Oh, uh, okay. There we go. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, we're prepared. Alright. Okay, so we can do splicing next episode, guys. Woo! Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is Mod Fallout. I'm Kyle. I'm Kira. Bye. Bye.